So this piece of beauty right here, this is beautiful cedar and it is about to be tongue oiled to finish it off. And you can see before and after and you'll, you'll get a sense just how dark it can get just immediately. Just like that. Tongue oil is T-U-N-G, not as in uh, I have pierced my tongue. Although I suppose you could say that too. It's a nut. And the thing that you want to remember about that is that it's only going to take in so much. Cedar already is an incredibly resinous and aromatic uh, wood. So this is just something to help seal it. Uh, because they're made in Colorado, they can get quite an extreme of, of humidity going to other places. And this, this is just one more layer for the wood to be able to take that. Since this is also um, actually a special edition, it's a, it's a one out of one. It's Emily Dickinson poem. It's pretty awesome. It is also uh, one of the largest. Uh, it's a three inch box to contain over 159 letters which is a real pleasure to do because it kind of stretches what is possible for us because the wood comes from a, a guy in Wisconsin that we found happily online but this is this is just one of those things that no one tells you how to make one of these you, you'll never really get a how-to tutorial but one of the things we do know is that people love seeing things how they're made and so the the laser engraver allows us to both engrave as well as cut this i mean wow that color just exquisite and that's what you want you want to enhance the color you don't want to go over it uh tongue oil can be applied again and again year after year so that uh as it comes and as it goes in an age, you'll still be able to see the beauty of the wood, and this will just get darker over time. And we did a great deal, because we do it out of one plank of wood, as you can see, the grain is just following all the way around. And here I'm just getting the excess off because it's not going to do us any good. We could do a second layer of this if we wanted to. Again, it's about being patient with that. Also noticing where there's little bits of masking tape, because we use masking tape in order to get uh, the wood itself on the engraver to have a little bit less burn, because again, there's tons of resin on cedar. And I'm just looking for the dry spots right now, trying to see where I can add a little bit more, and then wipe. Beautiful. And soon that will be filled with push pins, wooden push pins. Every letter of the phrase that will make up this push pin puzzle will be engraved on top of a wooden push pin. Put inside, there'll also be a, a hint that lays out the word order for the person to try and solve. And uh, I hope she loves it. Custom order.